Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Hatma. Um, I already taught this morning at 9 a.m. My usual Instagram uh, live flat on Sunday, but for some reason it didn't save, so I just thinking why not do another one so it can save for everyone who want to practice later. So if you're ready, make sure you have two blocks. If you have, will be useful. Uh, keep them nearby. I'm gonna come to start to sit with the legs straight out. You can keep your knees soft here and then bring your hands behind your back and then just shorten the legs. Check it out. And then start to bend the knee or just drop the knee side to side here, nothing much. And today we're just gonna open up on what every part of the body, stretch it all out and will be some strengthening too. When you finish your last one here, you just pause and then cross at the shin, come to all four, come to tabletop. If you have access to block, put your blocks down and then put the soft part above your elbow, closer to the armpit to put on the block and then walk your knees back. If you don't have access to block, you can take a chai pose with your palms together behind your neck. Or you can take a puppy dog stretch if that's accessible to you. That can be a lot of great chair tools. I'm going to use block and we will be here for about um, another 5 to 8 breaths. Give it one more big breath here, breathe in. And then exhale out, slowly come up. Put the blocks off your way and then come back to that awful tabletop position. So you can keep the fingertips forward, you can turn your hands out, you can rotate 10 fingers toward your knee. Inhale, drop the belly down, arch your back, look up to cow pose. Exhale, round your spine for cat. Inhale, nice, slow into cow pose. Exhale, round your back for cat pose. Inhale. Exhale. Give it two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale to round. One more. Inhale, belly down, chest lift. Exhale to round and your spine. Back to neutral spine, turn the hand forward. Now if your hands are turning back, you're going to tuck your toes, keep your shoulders above your wrist, lift the right knee up, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale to lift, keep your arms straight, exhale to lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Next time, lift up, hold it high. Make three circle forward, two, one. Y circle, the other direction, three. Two, one, lift up, kick the legs out, hold it, five, four, three, two, one, release. And I'm going to turn around so you can soon see me on this side too. Lift your left knee up, open and close. Inhale, exhale, arms stay straight, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, next time, inhale, Three circle, three, two, one. Three circle, the other direction, three, two, one. Keep the legs out, hold it tight, five, four, three, two, one. And then release. Do still in heaven top. Move your knees back about two to three inches. Have your knees up. Behind your hip, make sure shoulders stay above your wrist. Tuck the toes, hover the knees an inch above the mat. So pull the belly in. Push the mat away. Concentrate on breathing in and out through your nose, kind of activate the core right here. Keep soften your chest just a little bit. So no short spine here. Your belly pull in. One more big breath here, breathe in. Now hips go up, down dog. Pedal the legs out, so we side to side. 
Any movement you may need here, just set it into your first down dog. Bend the knees, lift your heels high, get your belly to come closer to the thighs. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, chip forward to plank. Exhale, come back to bend knee down dog, tailbone still high. Inhale, chip forward to plank. Exhale, bend knee down dog, heels high. Belly closer to the thighs. Inhale, chip forward to plank. Exhale, bend knee down dog. One more. Inhale, chip forward. Hold it here. This time we're holding it. Plank position. And if you need to modify, you place the knee down. This is still great. Still consider planks. All knees up. This is your choice. Five more breath. Breathe in. Exhale, five. Make sure the soft part of the elbow still try forward. Inhale. Exhale, four. Hacking in nice and tight here. Pelvic floor tilt forward. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, one. Lower your knee. Lower your chest and your shin down. Slide your heart forward. Walk your hands back until the elbows stay above your wrist. Float the legs up, lower it down. Have your legs super straight here. And then pull your hands back. Squeeze the elbow toward one another. Head and shoulders stay lifted for cobra. Maybe float the palms up if it's accessible. Fight up your back muscle. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Child pose. Three breaths here to reset to rest and knowing that uh, you can come back and rest in child pose on your own whenever you need to rest this is your practice always take care of your body you need to rest longer stay you ready back to all four and then downward facing dog from down dog press the palms down lift your heels high tiptoe forward to the top of the mat bend the knees if you have to when you rise, spread your feet in a hip width apart, or maybe even a little bit wider, arms behind your back. Send your fists over your head. If this is too much, you can also just grab the opposite elbow just to show you that you can modify anything that you may need. If you grab your arms, if you have your arms behind your back, so we should grip the other thumbs on top and we're still here. You grab the opposite elbow, so we should grip up the elbow too. One more big breath here, breathe then. Exhale, release your hand down, you toe your feet to touch. Inhale, sweep the arms up, rise. In the legs, your hand together, flip your palms open. Lengthen the tailbone down, so no arch on the back here, but start to lean back. No arch on the lower back, you just lean back, try to open up at your chest area and your shoulder. Keep lengthening the tailbone down to protect your lower back. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then release your hand down, forward fold, and exhale. Half and lift flat your back. Step your left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. Lower the left knee down, untuck your left toe, and rise up, and Janayasana. Arm behind your back, squeeze the palm tight, lift your chest and your sternum up. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then release your hand down. Grab your blocks if you have, straight your right leg out, flex your right foot. Your hips remain square as you walk your hand outside your right leg. It could be here. It could be here, depending how on how you feel nice and open on the left side of the body. And get a little bit lower. Inhale to come back to center. And then re-bend at your right knee. Tap your left toe, lift your left knee cap up. Now straight both legs, left heel high. Now elongate the spine, use that same block. 
Maybe flip your right foot too. Next inhale, re bend your right knee, left fingertips stay, right arm reach high, easy twist. And you can also do this with the left knee down if you need. Right hand come down. Float your left leg up into standing split position. Have the heels of your hand. Match the heels of your standing foot. You can place blocks underneath your hands if you need. Keep your hip level up. I drop your left hip down. The leg may not go up high and that's okay. Left foot meet right top of the mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Root to rise all the way up. Left hand grab the right shoulder blade. Right hand grab your left elbow. Lean all the way to the right side. Inhale back to center. Forward fold as you exhale. Half and flat your back. Step your right foot all the way back. Lower the right knee. Untuck the right toe. Hook the opposite thumb. Arm rise up. Arm behind your back. Lift your chest up. One more big breath here. Breathe in. And then release your hand down. Grab your blocks again. Straight your left leg up. Flip your left foot. Both hands go all the way to the left. Hip remains square. Inhale, come back to center. And then tuck your right toe, lift the right knee cap up. Both legs straight, elongate the spine. Maybe flex your left foot very wide stand here. Rebend at your left knee, right hand stay, left arm reach high, easy, simple to twist, and you can do this with the right knee down. One more big breath here, breathe in, exhale, both hands come down, palm flat, as you float your right leg up into standing split position. Right foot meet left top of the mat, forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up, root to rise. This time, right hand will grab your left shoulder blade. Left hand grab your right elbow as you lean all the way to the left here. Put your hip to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Palm together, bend the knee forward for as you exhale. Half a lift, flat your back. And then step back into a plank position. So step into plank position. And you may drop the knees down if you need. Or knee can stay up. Pause here. Now we're gonna take one push up together with knee down or knee up. We're gonna hold the push up for five counts, so please don't rush. Move your shoulders forward, bend the elbow. Elbow stay above your wrist, shoulders 90 degree angle with the elbow for five, four, three, two, one. Slide your heart forward to upward facing dog. Press the toes down, look at the tip of your nose. Roll the head of the shoulders back. And then down dog as you exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lift your heels high. Bend your knee. Look forward. Inhale, tiptoe. Big step or float both feet between your hands. Forward fold as you exhale. Chair pose as you breathe in. Sit right into your chair. Arm behind your back, in your chest, option to lift the heels up high as well. And bend the knees a little bit more. The more you send your feet away from your back, try to send your head a little bit more forward. 
and ride the heels up higher. They almost come to Adha chair. One more big breath here, breathe in. Release your heel forward fold. Release your hand down. Half a lift, flat your back. Now step back to plank position. High plank. Pause here. We're gonna do a little bit of the core work here. Set your intention. You can do this with the knee down. I'm gonna show you with the knee down first. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Take one, push up and then straight the arm. Knee up, right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Take a push up and then straight the arm. So, whenever you're ready, if you prefer to pause, just then plan do that. We're gonna do five rounds for each side and start first. So together here, right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, take a push up, straight the arm. Right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, take a push up, straight the arm. Keep going. This is our third round. Right, left, push up, straight the arm. Last one for this side. Left, push up, straight the arm, pause. If you need a down dog, take it. I'm going to start with the left side and do it five rounds. We're going to rest together. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Take a push up. Straight the arm. Left, right. Take a push up. Straight the arm. Left, right. Take a push up. Straight the arm. Two more. Left, right. Take a push up. Straight the arm. Last one. Left, right. Take a push up. This arm. Slide your hand forward to up dog. Down dog or child pose if you need to rest. Pause here for a round of breath. Breathe in. Exhale out. Inhale to lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee, stack your hip open. Lift your left heel up higher too. Inhale again. Exhale, bring your right knee to tap your right tricep. Land your right foot. Outside your right hand. So we'll come to a high side. You can come to your fingertip. You can place blocks underneath your hand if you need. And just rock forward and back. Now lower your left knee down. And then start to shift back straight the right leg. So nothing will really change. Your feet still in the same position. Inhale, rock forward, chest lift. Exhale, rock back straight, your right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Move with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Next time, inhale, you rock forward, you stay. Left hand stay, right hand gonna grab above the knee to push out. And maybe you bend your left knee, reach back so you can grab the foot. Pull the foot closer to the sit bone. Rotate your chest, open up to the ceiling. You can place your left forearm down as well. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then release. You may use your right foot as a kickstand or left knee as a kickstand for a modified side plank and stay there. Some of you are going to take full side plank. You can do it with your left hand or your left forearm. And then float the right leg up for more. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, knee and elbow come to touch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hips stay high. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. And then find high plank. If you need to skip the push up, I think you've done enough. You can skip for the whole session for the rest of it. Or you may take it if you prefer. Inhale to upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. Lift your left leg up, bend the knee, stack your hip open, breathe then. Right heel lift up higher, exhale, left knee, left tricep. Land your left foot outside your left hand. Lower the right knee down for a moment if you need to grab your block. But we're in the high side here. We're just gonna rock and lift it back up, rock forward and back. 
a few times feel free to move slow feel free to use your prop I know I said that a lot but we all feel different here you do what works for you and then you can place the right knee down keep your block with you chip back to straight your left leg you sit back to the heel inhale chip forward chest lift exhale straight your left leg flex your left foot inhale exhale keep moving with your breath inhale exhale next time inhale you keep the left knee bend and then right hand flat left hand grab above the knee open it out you may place the right forearm down if you prefer rotate your chest open to the left side and slowly release find your way to either modify side plan whatever version that you did before or stack your feet for full side plan moving on with me left arm over the ear top leg lift up breathe in exhale knee and elbow touch inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale last one inhale exhale and then high plank position push up is optional if you do it hold it for a moment don't rush out of it inhale to upward facing dog down dog as you exhale pause here for a round of breath inhale exhale out heels high bend the knee look forward inhale tiptoe big step off lower to the top forward fold exhale chair pose arms behind your back the other thumbs on top lift your heels high once again if you prefer and come low closer to Ada chair drive the heels up one more big breath here breathe in hand release heel release forward fold exhale half a lift flat your back you can jump back to the wrong arm if you prefer step back to plank push up is always optional if you do it hold it like I mentioned it before inhale to up dog down dog as you exhale from down dog lift your right leg up bend your right knee stack your hip open exhale right knee right tricep hold the knee there a push up or float to a katu for those who love to play inhale to chew the leg back three legged dog exhale land your right foot neck to your right thumb come to your fingertip lift up and then slowly rise into high crescent bend the left knee a little bit more re-straight your left leg one more big breath here breathe in open up warrior two as you exhale try to move the right knee forward move your right foot forward to get really long with your warrior two bend your right knee and inflict your right arm reverse your warrior strengthen your right leg reach your right arm forward triangle pose one more big breath here breathe in and then exhale out inhale come back to stand exhale rebend that right knee back to two breathe in again flip your right arm reverse your warrior both hand come down to frame your right foot step back find your plank push up is optional inhale to upward facing dog down dog as you exhale lift your left leg up bend the knee step your hip open breathe in exhale let me left tricep hold the knee there a push up float and fire as you wish inhale send the legs back three leg down exhale land your left foot neck to your left thumb slowly float the fingertips up first and then rise all the way up to high crescent 
Maintain the square the hip, breathe straight the right leg. So a little bit more. Push your right heel back. One more breath in. Warrior two. Drop the right heel. Lift, ground it down on the outer edge of your right foot. Maybe close your eyes here. Keep pull your left sit bone underneath. Bend your left knee and in, flip your left arm reverse. Straight your left leg for triangle, reach your left arm forward. Keep your side weight long, look up at your right hand. Inhale, come back to stand. Exhale, rebend that left knee back to two. Breathe in, flip your left arm reverse, your warrior once again. Exhale, both hands come frame the foot, step back, take your floor or go right to downward facing dog. That's always your choice. Down dog is very me. Breathing in, breathing out. Now make your down dog just a little bit short. Maybe walk in about two to three inches. Have your hand a little bit closer to one another so you have space. But you're going to try to bend the knees and hop your feet to land softly outside the hand with no sound, without making a sound. If you don't like to hop, just do step, step. You're going to do this five times. Either step, step or hop and go back. Two more here and then go back. And then last one, if you didn't have five rounds yet, keep going. When you finish, you're going to sit in support position. And some of you may take it to crow pose. And you may take crow into tripod headstand if that's what you prefer to go upside down. If you need support, just come to sit on the blocks. I'm going to always show you how to modify. Make sure to stay with whatever variation that works for you. Anything you unsure, anything that you feel like, nah, I don't think this is safe for my body. Especially you practice at home, try to just be mindful of how you move. One more big breath here, breathe then. Try pot, you can go right back to Chaturanga or come back to crow first before you shoot back. Try to transfer the weight to the feet and you come back to crow in order to pick the head up to crow. Squat, straight the legs, and we all gonna meet it down dog. You should how you get there. You throw your feet together, you simply step back, so keep the push up and go right to down dog, and that's totally works great here. Downward facing dog here, breathing in, breathing out. Lift your right leg up, bend your right knee, step your hip open, inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee to tap the left elbow this time. Extend the foot out, try to have the foot lie up with your left hand to wiggle it high. If you can, drop your left foot down, send your left arm up, broken triangle. Lift your hips up, start to reach your fingertips toward the front of the room. One more big breath here, breathe then. And then bring your left hand down, bring your right knee in toward your nose, step your right foot in the middle of your hand. So this time we're gonna come right to warrior two. From the ground up. So ear, shoulders and hip lie up here, get maybe even longer with your two. And if you feel too much, you shorten the stance. Push the knee out, you can see your right big toe and your second toes. Bend your right knee an inch, flip your right arm, reverse your warrior. Right forearm to thighs, left arm reach up or up and over the ear, maybe more down, frame the ears. Hold it here for five, four, three, Two, one. Inhale to reverse your warrior. This time, hand go on the inside of the foot. Can be on the block. 
Maybe you find a bind. Try to get the right shoulders to go down. Right hand gonna wiggle up to grab your left wrist. Open your chest up to the left side. We're gonna be here for about five to eight breaths. Depend on how long, how short your breath is. But the prada is big on your left foot forward. Keep the right knee bent here and you try to come up to stand. Nice and tall first, this is important. To stand tall, to feel the grounding of your left foot, keep your chest lifted. And the last thing, you can extend the right leg out. Side angle, stay where you are. But find your way back down. The way you went up, take your time to come out the way you went in. And everyone will release the right hand down, left hand will come down too. Now we go your right foot out, we will be in lizard pose. Lizard pose, you can put blocks underneath your forearm. You can lower the left knee down to modify. And block can be high to adjust uh, the way that it works for your body. Some of you want to still take it further. You can always send the shoulders underneath and play the arms out. You can even bind your hands behind your back. So choose something that works for you. I'm just gonna modify here. Give it one more big breath here, breathe in. Now, really, um, put your forearms on the mat. And we're going to transition from here to forearm plank. You need to modify your lower the knees down. You can do more in the left hand together in forearm plank. And pause here. Five more breath. Option to inhale. Exhale, nose come back. The thumb. Inhale, shift back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, and then try pose if you need. And some of you can just go right to down dog, take a push up, and when you're ready, move it back in downward facing dog. From down dog, lift your left leg up, bend your left knee, stack your hip open, breathe in. Exhale, let me tap your right elbow. Extend the foot out. Try to get the foot high. The same line with your left hand and then right arm reach up, broken triangle. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then right hand come down. Let me pull in toward your nose. Land your left foot right in the middle of your hand. Right foot flat from the ground up. Make sure your blocks nearby to get you needed. When I come up to warrior two, right away from the ground. Maybe eye close. Bend your left knee and in, flip your left palm reverse. Left forearm to thigh, same variation. Modify, right arm up or up and over the ear. Maybe both arms frame the ear for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, hand go on the inside. And you use blocks, you stay, you bind your hand, whatever you did before on the previous side. But the paradise, wiggle. The foot in. I'm going to try to show you this view here um, to make sure you come to stand nice and tall. So this is like we just stand nice and tall, feel the lift of the chest. The last thing you have to worry is the left foot and the left leg. If you feel open, you may straight the left leg up. And that's the last thing you have to worry to keep your right leg so straight here. And then come down, we go out. The way you went in, release out of your thigh if you have your thigh, and we'll finally start pose your way. What did you do before with your Lisa? Go back to the same variation. And this is my second class, so 
I'm taking number eight by. But I'm to try to show you the possibility of it just depends on how your body feels. There's so many variations that we can do in the practice that we all feel different. Our body, our anatomy are different. You just have to choose what do you think you need more and what works for you. Back off when it feels too much. And I'm going to transition to full arm plank. Okay. And you can be here, you can take a child board whenever you feel like I have enough with this sequence. For those who can do more hand together, this time you walk your feet up to dolphin and then we are going to bring the nose to tap the thumbs again. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay in dolphin, take pin child if you prefer. Be here for five more breaths. And then try pose to down dog whenever you're ready to move on. Downward facing dog. Bend the knee. Bend knee down dog. Look forward. And then big step with your right foot next to your right thumb. Left knee can be down. I'll show you with the left knee down or left knee can be up. Arm straight out. Hand come to prayer, twist to the right. You feel good here. Tap the leg tall, lift your left knee cap up. Twist your chest open. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then release your hand down. Find your two blocks. We're going to find warrior three. You block to help you float your right leg up. For those who want to do more full expression, hand in the legs together. Both legs straight. Really put the stem like you can stem your left heel to the back of the room. Bend the right knee deep. Straight your right leg. Bend the right knee. Straight your right leg. Bend your right knee, straight your right leg, two more, bend your right knee, straight your right leg, last time bend, hand can come to prayer, curse it down, curse it down, curse it down, get lower, then go all the way down to sit, sit the spinal twist position. If both sit bone doesn't get down, straight your left leg out, flex your left foot, right hand behind your back, left arm reach up, twist, open, to the right side. Get your hand closer to your sit bone. Inhale, come back to center. Rotate, counter to it just for a breath out. And then come find this seated position. Get into your hips here with lift your chest up. Great place to be. Adding on five board pose with this leg variation. Two more breaths. From wherever you are, we're going to find chair pose. You can just extend, put your feet down, and come all the way up to chair. And you can also use blocks to help. Now I'm going to sit a little bit lower. Hand come to prayer, twist to the right side. If you want gentle, right hand behind the pocket, left hand above the right knee, and totally fine. And be still in chair to waist. Pick up your left foot. Pick up your left heel. I'm gonna try to extend it back to twist it. Warrior three. Keep reach the crowd your head forward. Oh, and this is like it's so easy to lose the balance. I think my leg to like jello by now. 
Let's step your left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. Both hands come down, step back to plank. Take a push up. Inhale to upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. From down dog, bend the knee deep once again. Big step with your left foot, neck to the left thumb. Right knee down, so up. Arm forward into prayer. We're going to twist to the left side. Rinse and detox inside the body. Maybe right knee over. And if you like me, I've been eating so much during this uh, shoulder in place, home all day. So time to just do a little bit of the toes here. One more big breath here. Breathe in. And I'm going to bring the hands to five block. Float into warrior three. Use your blocks to help you with the transition if you need. But if you did full expression, go back there again. Fire up. Bend the left knee deep. Straight your left leg. Bend and straighten. Bend and straight. Bend and straight. Last time, bend. Hand come to prayer. Hands still on the block. Curse it out. Get low. Get low. Get low. Come sit into safety spinal twist. And you can bite yourself off too. I'm sweating like crazy now. Left hand behind your back. Right arm reach up. Twist open. Come back to center, counter rotation just for a breath out. And then find that chair, just get into the hip here. Left ankle cross above the right knee. This you can just be here. Then come to both pole variation. And I hope this class will save because this is an extra class because the class this morning didn't save, so I'm like, oh, I have to do another one. One more breath here, breathe in. And then feet down, come to chair pose. Hand come to prayer, to be slept. And then look down, lift the right heel up. Pull it closer to the sit bow and send your right leg back to be sit warrior three. And then step your right foot all the way back, hand down. Push up is always option on take it or leave it in. How to up dog? Down dog as you exhale. One round of breath, breathing in. Exhale up. Lift your heels high, bend the knee, look forward. Inhale, tiptoe, big step or float to the top. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Root to rise all the way up. Arm down, let tall mountains. So before we get into um, our last kind of pose here, we're gonna work to get to chair twist again, and um, we're gonna take cycle. Just stretch out a little bit, and we have a little bit of the times here. Send your left arm cross over, and then right arm just pull back. So try to get the right arm between the elbows and the shoulders. I know some of you like this one to get to stretch out a little bit. And then just in place on this side. And now I'm going to show you this way, it might be easier, but from um, this when I get into chair. So for those who are just going to take chair twist again, we're going to help you to twist deeper, feel free to do that. So this side, I'm going to try to get the left elbow to hook outside the right thigh. Lift the heels high, that will help. The deeper you get the elbow cross over, it's going to be harder to, um, to fall out. And you can also use this right elbow to snap into the side body. You can create your right cheek on the block too. For cycle, and today we're gonna work cycle to fallen angel. How to do that? 
is to have to be able to lower the chip to be on the mat or some can even hover on the mat for more challenge. So when you're ready, you'll come to cycle. After you float the legs up, try to lower the cheek down. Closer or on the mat. And then extend both legs up to what? The ceiling. But you keep your right knee rest above your right upper arm. And then you come out of it when you're ready. And you're in chair for it, you come back to chair pose. You want to do the same thing the other side. Chair, hand come to prayer. Sit low first, lift the heels high to help to cross the right elbow. Over. When your elbow cross, hard to fall out. Hand parallel to one another. Now lower your left cheek down to straighten the right leg up. And you can even hover your left cheek above the mat for more challenge. And then you come down whenever you have enough. And then take a forward fold at the top of the mat. Any variation of forward phone here. Maybe step on your hand for those who did a lot of ambulance poses. Give your wrist a nice massage. One more big breath here. Breathe in. And then release, bring your feet to touch, half your lips flat to back. Step back into a plank. Push up is a way optional. We did a lot earlier, we prep the body into ambulance. We push up is really important. We don't have to be on the phone and ambulance poses. And then right to down, bird facing dog. From down dog, lift your heels high, roll out to plank. Take five cow, go all the way down to the belly. Float the legs up, lower it down, send your arms behind you in the lazy hand, squeeze the palm tight, lift your head and your shoulders up, maybe float your legs up to for locust pose. Now we open up the front body. After that, too many chaturanga arms. One more big breath here. Release it back to your heel, knees together, forehead down. You can place block underneath the forehead if you need space. And then lift up, just come lay down your back. This is like my moment, it's like oh, we get to lay down the back. And then put your feet together, knees open out wide, butterfly the legs out here. Left palms on the heart, right palm on the belly. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. Bend your knee, maybe just grab one block. Place underneath your sacrum at any height. Some of you may take it to bridge pose. Some may choose to go all the way to four wheels. Make it yours. One more round of breath, and then come down whenever you're ready. From bridge, from view, from block. Pull the knees in, drop front to back, drop up to sit. And we're gonna sit in a double pigeon, cross or right chin gonna come down, so the left chin gonna be on top. Make sure to have to try to lie up the foot and the knee to be the same line. You may have a lot of space like this, you can place block. Um, underneath to if you need extra room so it can be like this just to show you from this side you may have a lot of gap here and uh, I find that when we at home you know you have pillow it's softer than the block to pillow the roll blanket something that can be useful if your hip open you can do with those block forward for arm can come down you can even Put your arm on top of one another and brace your forehead down. Take 
Slowly lift up. Keep your right shin down, you straight your left leg up. Now right foot gonna come inside, um, closer to your groin, left foot flex. You can make a little loop with your towel. Hold on to the foot, fold up. And you can go deeper, this is nice to stretch out the lower back. Right hand grab the towel, and left hand grab from under, and then look up underneath the right armpit. You may not need the towel, you grab the foot on the inside with your left hand, on the outside with your right hand, and look up underneath your right armpit. Give it one more big breath here, breathe in. And I'm gonna come out a bit, lift up. Right hand behind your back here for gaze pose, counters the pose just for a moment. It should feel nice. And then come down, down. This uh, left shin gonna be on the bottom, right shin bone gonna be on top. You may need something to support underneath the right knee. Go back to your variation. Whatever works for you. And slowly come up straight your right leg out same thing you can fold over the straight right leg you can take it to Janusachasana with prop or without prop Slowly come up, left hand behind your back, lift your hips up for gaze pose. And then lower your hip down, both legs straight out in front of you, flex your feet. That same towel you can use, fold over the legs, or you just use your hand, you feel small open. Put your blocks in front of your feet, and then you can grab the whole of the block. Keep your knee closer to one another. Imagine you have one leg here. Touch and lengthening the back. Pachi Motanasana. Pachi means back, you know, from Sanskrit. It means you lengthening the back here. But you get the opening of the back of the legs as well. And try not to overdo it. For those who feel really open, it can be like backfire to do overdo anything make sure the feeling is enough but not too much and then slowly come up lay down on your back lay down your back put the knees into your chest just simply drop both knee to the right head turn to the left keep your right shoulders on the mat Inhale, come back to center, and you take it to the other side. Inhale to come back to center, glide both knees in toward your chest. Now lift up, give yourself a big loving hug here. Extend your arms over your head, extend your legs out, full body stretch. Deep inhale to your nose, open your mouth, exhale to empty out and you can find Shavasana. Unless you prefer about one minute, okay, stand, you can do that before you find Shavasana. And we did a lot of hip opening for headstand, if you've never done it before, I want to introduce you here to just work with the leg for each and I'm going to show you this way. So come to your headstand and you can put your feet together. 
like butterfly the legs out, maybe keep it a diamond shape, that's just another version of his there. If you feel nice and open, you can also straighten the legs out and send your hips behind. So just think about working on something that uh, may be new to you in a headstand if you decide to go upside down. Give you rest, make sure let go of any control of your breathing. Just breathe and be. Hey, stand, try to pay your legs down. Think about come down so, uh, halfway into an L shape first. Because we want to be able to control how we move uh, from the headstand position. Maybe hover your feet an inch above the mat and stay there. And then eventually you come to chai pose and uh, in the next few rounds of breath, everyone should be in Chavasana. If you need to rest more, feel free to rest. If you're ready to move on, start to make a small movement. Wiggle your fingers and toes, roll your ankles and your wrists. Bring your arms over your head, take a full body stretch. Together, deep inhale to the nose. And then open your mouth, exhale to empty it all out. Bring your knees up in toward your chest. Drop the knees to one side, make a pillow with your hand and pause for a moment, try not to rush. You can raise a little bit more if you prefer. You can come up to sit, find a comfortable seat at the top of the mat. Keep your eyes closed or keep your gaze up, sit tall. And then bring your palms together, the center of your chest. Bow the head down, have a wonderful the rest of the weekend. Until we meet again virtually, namaste. And I'm gonna try to save this class. Hopefully it will be safe. Uh, unlike this morning one, I'll let you know. Enjoy the rest of your day. Send me any requests if you have. Bye-bye.